Hi, how's mm-hmm. it? Uh, we're in the next part. Please go gauge uh, your bearings properly by checking out the previous parts or uh, this part might, won't throw you off. Okay, so as a result then, oh, another thing that, that I struggled with with um, the advice that I was getting on YouTube uh, from these well-meaning men and women as to how to grow my channel. Another challenge that I, I encountered was in them telling me duration, like I need to test for duration. Um, they basically were explaining how it is that TikTok is this thing that has destroyed the attention span of the of the of the youth of the human race and especially of the youth. And I have a very targeted ministry when it comes to the youth. I'm actually really very fervent for children, kids, young ones, right? I want the youth. I've wanted the youth for a minute um, and I'm somewhat prospering to get the youth on TikTok. On on, on YouTube, it's mostly my peers uh, and Facebook is also the youth. I'm getting the youth on, 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 on Facebook, so I'm winning. Basically, uh, the audience that I want but they were telling me, this, these advisors online were, were telling me that Carabo, lady, uh, so you want the youth, guess what? They are suffering from dopamine, ad- um, you know, in, like addiction to these 30 seconders, 5 seconders, 2 seconders on TikTok. They are suffering because their attention span is being ransacked by that uh, whole TikTok trend, right? Of the shortness, of the, the succinctness of videos they're in. And you are gonna, they, they're going to short circuit at your one hour videos. They're going to short circuit at your three hour videos. Because I can speak for three hours, five at a go. Like, yeah, nonstop. I'm that girl. Uh, they're going to short circuit. And for me, it was like the Beatitudes. It is written therein. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be fed. And my sheep hear my voice, John 10. And I lead them out. It is also written in God's word that narrow is the road that leads to life and few there be that find it. I therefore early established this whole discipline of it's not about the numbers, first of all, because few there be that find it. So it is what it is. Sheep hear the voice of the Lord and they will come out. And uh, the Lord is the one that draws people to hear the word. And if they are hungry, they will be fed. They will be led. The Lord will lead them to where they need to eat, drink. And you know what I mean? Mm. So I remembered my own redemption when I was brand spanking new. Yes, fine. I was not corrupted yet by the TikTok um, generation or the TikTok, uh, not so much generation, but the trend of these five minutes, these two minutes, these three minutes. I was happy to listen to something that was an hour long. But when I was new in the faith, I was so hungry for God that I could sit out of very monotonous voice over narrating multiple sermons of Charles Spurgeon, Jonathan Edwards, John Owen, etc. All day, nonstop, all weekend long. Sometimes during my lunch break at work, after coming back home from work on my laptop, just streaming, 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 streaming online. Having historically been disinterested in the things of God, and yet I was so hungry that I was listening to hours and hours and hours of ministry. I ditched television entertainment for hearing the word of God. The Lord created in me a hunger, despite me not having that for history. I remembered my own redemption and my own hunger. And I was like, if God could do it in me, I ain't special. I ain't no different from everybody else. He can do it for even the most attention span afflicted TikTok addict that loves watching tiny little five second dance videos. They will linger on me for an hour. They will linger on me for two hours if the Lord has drawn them. If the Lord has called them, they will hear his voice and he will lead them out and they will binge watch. They will binge watch. I had that belief because I believe the word of God when he says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I believe him. I believe his word. And I therefore did not capitulate. I started out down uploading two hour videos, three hours and I was like, they'll listen if they want to listen. But then I was like, help them along. So I cut my videos into one hour, 40 minutes, still didn't listen. I have now cut my videos to 10 minutes because I'm catering to the TikTok generation, maximum 10 minutes. And I'm uploading them daily to 10 minutes as well on social, on all across my social media platforms. Every so often I do shorts, etc. Yes, indeed. And they're still not listening. They're still not listening. Am I then going to do out of like a five hour video that I speak all day, one minute for five hours? The one minute, the 60, eh? Like, uh, are you serious? Must I do 300 little individual videos just to cater to the TikTok issue? No. There was also a, a well-meaning human being that, was, that, that commented 
uh, on my TikTok, one of the videos that I did, and he was like, your content is great, it's really good, but try and keep it under three minutes. And my response was, I am not going to feed the dopamine addict generation. I shall not en entertain the prospect of a great number of be uh, being among the people that people are gathering for themselves because she, I, I like Karabo because she keeps it nice and tucked, neatly tucked under one minute. I like Karabo's um, ministry because, you know, she just has these lovely two minuters. I apologize, I'm not the one for you. If you want two minuters. I am loquacious and verbose. And the reason I am verbose is because the Bible is made up of 66 books. Men of old who wrote the scriptures in and of themselves were verbose. The book of Isaiah is made up of how many books? 60 something? 60 something. I stand corrected. But if it were, Isaiah could sit down and write all of those books and you are trying to get me to speak on prophecy in the book of Isaiah in five minutes, what's going on? What is happening? The church of old was happy to embrace lengthy sermons people could sit s on 20 for an hour and a half now within half an hour people have to leave and if the whole service is one hour long they spend 15 whole minutes first praise worshiping singing and then there's collection for like five ten minutes and then towards the end is another 10 minutes singing so in the center there's like 20 to 30 minutes worth of preaching what is going on over there what is going on? There are there are like revivals that have happened where the preacher preached all day and people stuck around only taking a break for lunch and then coming back to hear what God has to say. But now we have to keep it nice and succinct in like a one little hour uh, service uh, and you'll be back just in time at home for lunch. And even then it wasn't the full hour where the word of God was preached for the better part of the time other random things were being spoken and church programs were being promoted. My people perish for a lack of knowledge and it is in not imparting that knowledge then that uh, preachers of the living God are going to find themselves wanting. They are going to find themselves judged for they will have scattered the sheep. The road is narrow that leads to life and few they be that find it. And those few, what the Lord has shown me, are struggling to get fed. The Lord said to Peter when he was in the boat with him, Peter, do you love, was it, was it the boat? I stand corrected, but it was somewhere, okay? Do you love me, Peter? And Peter responds by saying, yes, Lord. And what does the Lord say? Feed my sheep. He said that two more times. Third time of which Peter felt uncomfortable because God, are you saying I don't love you? And the Lord just said, feed my sheep. Essentially, if at all you truly are indwelt by the Holy Spirit and so therefore love the Lord, you will have this fervor in you to feed the sheep of Christ. You will have an earnestness. You will work like a dog to feed the sheep of Christ, even if it means speaking for hours on end. But you can accommodate to have mercy on the fact that people are made of dust. The Lord says that he has mercy and compassion on us for we are made of dust. So you will then have compassion. On Tabare, they've been made addicts of TikTok. So like Karabo, you will like narrow down your three hour videos into 36, 34, 40, 10 minute videos. And that is the most that I have done. I do indeed have two minute videos. I do indeed have three minutes. I have shorts that are one minute long. Reels on Facebook can be only under one hour and I'm growing my Facebook account, my Facebook followership using reels. But those reels are leading people to my long form content. So what I'm doing is realizing that there is a sickness and as a responsible doctor, I'm like a doctor without borders. I am going out to the outliers where they're at and I'm saying, hey, look at me, look at me. And then I'm inviting them into a bigger church. I am inviting them into a tent, a bigger revival environment. I am calling them in with a gospel track that is a pamphlet in its size, but that they might indeed end up reading this big fat 66 book what called the Bible. Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. Let's go to the next part.